kick it off with our first guest speaker for the day, responsible for introducing House Bill 351, getting genetically engineered foods labeled in the state of Florida. We are on our way. Everyone, please welcome Representative Michelle Raywinkle Vasilindo. Give yourselves a hand. You look great. And your, the work you've done, it's been wonderful. And thank you for being here. I came from Tallahassee today just for you and just for this issue because I think this is what the most important issue in, in addition to energy and how we produce it and how we distribute it, which is one of the reasons I'm here too. But this is one of the most important issues of the 21st century. And you are here to make sure that people listen and know and are educated, and so am I. And so thank you for doing this today, and thank you for inviting me to speak to you. I want to tell you how I got here, not just here today, because my husband Mike Vassalind is here, and he's videotaping this, and he is a news guy, and he is going to put this on the news. But, uh, <laughs> there you go, there you go, give it to Mike, all right. Um, and so how I got here was I got elected in 2008 to the Florida House of Representatives. Thank you, everyone. This is the second week, second year I've been able to speak, and uh, I think my voice is loud enough to drown that noise over there, so it's good work. Um, <laughs> listen, this is amazing. This is amazing to see how many people are out here now uh, from last year, from two years ago. Um, it keeps growing. And for me, having been involved in, I wear a couple different hats. I own Farm Fresh, direct to you.com an organic food delivery service I've been doing for 11 years. I'm an acupuncturist, so I have the healing side. And I see both things together, they work together. I see it every day of how literally giving people life-saving food helps them. And it's amazing, it's, it's, it's literally medicine. So I wanna thank you for coming out. I wanna thank that I see so many young people are involved with this, because this is, you guys literally are the future. You literally are the future, it sounds quaint, but it isn't, so I wanna thank you. So this is what's happening. Our foods have changed so drastically. Our bodies, our biochemistry is not keeping up with that. In fact, it's similar. It's simil I try and tell people the way we've adapted to food is over billions and billions and billions of years, um, if you will. We don't adapt to food within 10, 15 years, and all of a sudden, we can now adapt to eating GMOs. This is not the way nature works. Nature works over long, steady time periods, if, if that makes sense to folks. So we have to now start healing the gut. And that's the number one thing that you can do when if you're tr trying to avoid GMOs, it obviously is the labeling is, is super important. But since we're living in this GMO soup, what can we do? What can we do to actually help and heal our bodies? Number one thing, you need to watch out for your gut. You need to protect the gut. And that includes some traditional foods, such as traditionally grown sauerkraut, lacto-fermented foods, whether it be kefir, whether it be yogurt, whether it be sauerkraut, whether it be kimchi, whether it be, you know what I'm saying? All these are not so, all these other types of foods. There's, there's a tremendous amount of variety of different foods that traditional cultures have given to us, and we are the inheritors of that. So take care of your gut. Lacto fermented foods are probably one of the most important ones that we have. The other thing as well is, is to be aware that the majority of soy, majority of corn, majority of wheat are genetic, well, not so much wheat, genetic, have been genetically modified, right? So soy and corn have been genetically modified. And in, in doing so, we've opened and unleashed. And it's in everything, ladies and gentlemen. This is unfortunately the problem that, that, that we have. Without this labeling, we do not know where this food is coming from. So from the healing perspective as a physician, we have to take care of, our, of the gut. And most importantly, as, as um, the representative mentioned before, it's about where you spend your food dollars. I was looking up some research today when I was um, figuring out what I was going to speak about, and I found out that grocery markets work on a very, very, very slim margin. 1.3% is their uh, profit margin, if that's a good year for them. So what does that mean for you and I? It means that if you literally take out a dollar and you spend it over with traditional foods, local organic farmers, you are literally taking that money very directly out of Publix, out of Walmart, out, do you see that? And if you do that, that's what they will listen to. That's what they will listen to, right? So if you have your money, here's the thing, I've been doing what I've been doing in terms of providing this service for many years. I tell people all the time, you don't have to spend all your money here, right? But even just a little bit each month, literally goes into a small farmer with him and his you know seven kids that I that, I, that I've been dealing with for 11 years and that's going to feed and support them they're they're dedicated to growing things non-gmo we don't know what Walmart is going to do 
right? Well, actually, we, we do kind of know what they're going to do. Um, <laughs> that's the problem. So the issue is here. It literally is an issue of dollars and cents. They will not listen to you in other ways, but that's where it economically hurts them the most. If you get into their, their pocketbook, you will absolutely damage it, and they will come crawling to you. Why do you think you see so much, quote, unquote, organic at Walmart? Organics grow, being grown in other countries and being flown here. I do not trust it, and I hope that you don't trust it as well. So, to finish off, I want to leave a couple, leave a couple just passing points for you. One, you have to become educated. It's absolutely essential. You can't just say no GMOs. Why is that, right? Because people will come back and will say, I heard this on um, YouTube or some video one time recently, where someone, a proponent of GMOs, was saying, well, we can genetically engineer a rice to actually ha have higher vitamin A content. Why would you be against that, right? Well, I'd be, I'd be against that for the simple fact that that is an experiment. We don't know how it actually works. And if it's unleashed into the environment, then you can actually have more detrimental effects as you've seen it all, all around the world, specifically in India. So we have to become educated in the, in, in a lot of this, the specifics of it. It's, it's, it's great to march, it's great to have rally support, but we want to be educated consumers when we go out there and say, well, why are you not going out for GMOs? I don't go after GMOs because I, I care about my gut. All right? I care about the health of the environment later on. That's why. And I know specifically why that happened. So come do your research. Come find me. Come find a lot of these um, people here that we're, we're really passionate about what we do. We, we try and spearhead. We try and be leaders, if you will. But the idea here is that we don't want to have one leadership. We want to have every single person here educated as to what GMOs are for, what they're, bad, what they're good for, what they're bad for. There's really nothing good about GMOs. The GMOs are only good for Monsanto's stock prices. That's about it. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. I hope that we keep increasing each and every year because I'm so excited to see this. When I started 11 years ago, this is what I was hoping to see. I was hoping to see people fired up about local food, fired up about organics, and trying to down um, downplay these uh, GMOs that, that have been unleashed on us as a plague. Thank you very much. Yeah. got done marching. Uh, we're back here at City Hall here in Orlando. And, uh, you know, we advocated, chanted, you know, got to see a lot of traffic through. Five people alone came up to me and uh, actually asked what this was all about and what GMO was. And, you know, I, I let them know and uh, they really understood the information. So, you know, it was great to see. I'm glad I was a part of it. And, uh, you know, it's just great to meet a lot of these people here. Saw a lot of great talks um, by a few really inspiring people. Met the guys from We Are Change Orlando here. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, an overwhelming experience to see this happen. So, uh, here's a sign. Somebody uh, was happy enough to, was kind enough to give me one of their signs. Didn't have time to make one myself, but uh, there's plenty of support around here. So, thanks for watching, guys. You know, spread the message. Share this video. Thank you.